What is divine timing? And how does divine timing work? Why do we get blocked from reaching our goals? And how do we learn to trust in divine timing? And welcome to Love Always Self. I'm Shira. Hi, y'all. I'm Karista, and thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Love Always Self. We are here to talk about divine timing, y'all. Shira has a story that she wants to share about divine timing and how blockages may actually be working for us. Yeah, this story began literally like nine or 10 months ago. So as you all may be aware, Carissa and I have started Divine Living Style and Decor. And so we're doing interior decorating and a lot of that upon building starts with our own homes. Mm -hmm. So one of the last second to last rooms that I have been playing with as far as doing the interior decor for was our primary bedroom. So my husband and I, we had to come to an agreement, of course, what's going to look good in our room, all that fun stuff. I probably sourced like hundreds of different pieces for the bedroom. And one of those being dressers and new frame and headboard for our room. But we finally found the perfect one that we wanted. I was in love with it. We go to this furniture store here locally. We went and saw it in person. I actually met someone, the retail associate there that helped us with our order. Beautiful person. Made a new friend by doing that, which was awesome. Turns out she was totally into the whole spirituality business and everything, which that in itself is probably divine timing. And uh, we placed our order and they're like, okay, you know, there's, you know, this is a pretty significant piece. Uh, It's going to probably take about, you know, what what did they tell me? Like six to nine weeks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like three months tops. Yeah. Yeah. Three months tops. And I was like, it's a little, you know, I'm a little impatient. (laughs) We know that here. In the day and age of Amazon. Right. (laughs) Right. A little impatient. Kind of used to that next day delivery, but okay, this is perfect. And it's taken me a long time to find this piece in the first place. So absolutely, I'll wait. Paid a lot of money for it. (laughs) And then three months later, I'm calling and they're like, well, it's on back order. You're like order number 45. And I was like, okay. And I start getting a little frustrated because like now every month I'm checking in And they're telling me that they still don't have a shipping date and all the things I'm starting to get a little bit more irritated, especially as we're starting to establish our LLC for it. We're doing all the things and I really wanted this room to be completed for the projects that we were working on and posting before and afters and all the things that go with it. Um, And so I'm in month eight at this point. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and you've even thought about canceling too. Oh yeah. So many times throughout those months, I would go back and just be like, that's it. I'm just going to cancel this. And then I'd be like, I'm not starting over. And I felt very insistent on this. Like I found the perfect piece. I've completely designed the room exactly the way I wanted it to. And I'm not going to start over on this. And even at some point, my husband was like, that's it we're never going to get these pieces. Mm -hmm. We'll just Mm -hmm. go ahead and and cancel the order. And I was like, fine. And we even went back into the store to cancel it because it proved better to go in than trying to do it over the phone Mm -hmm. where they're trying to talk you out of it. Right. And I was like, I'm going to go in this store and I'm, that's it. I'm canceling this order. And then I get in and I see this new friend that I've made and she's there and she's like, you know, well, maybe we just wait like a few. Oh, by the way, they've updated the order. Now it actually has a ship date. And I was like, Of course it does, because I drove here, (laughs) you know, to like get this piece. And so at this point, I'm hopeful and irritated at the same time, you know, Mm -hmm. and yeah. Maybe a little doubt in there. (laughs) So much doubt. (laughs) So much doubt was happening in my head. And so I actually started sourcing other options and I could not find one. I felt so blocked. And, mm-hmm. and just canceling this order altogether or finding anything else that could remotely relate or compare to the pieces that I found. You know? mm-hmm. And so finally I get a notification that, Hey, your order is going to be delivered on this specific day. And I'm in so much doubt at this point that I'm like, I don't know if I trust that. And I was like, okay, so I'm calling the store and I'm like, are they really going to show up on this day? Cause I need to know if I'm going to be home that day. Like, 
all the things, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so I don't take apart my existing furniture pieces Mm -hmm. until literally the day before they delivered because they called me and said, we're going to be here between this time and this time. And I was like, okay, now I believe they're actually going to show up. So we got to figure out what to do with these other pieces because normally I'm more organized. Normally Mm -hmm. I would have already sold my stuff or like, and honestly, I wanted to donate it. I, I, mm-hmm. The whole time I knew that I want to donate these pieces to a family in need, right? I don't want to sell it. I paid a lot of money for this furniture that I already had and nobody needs to buy this. I feel abundant enough that I can give it away to somebody that actually needs it. So after we finally get our pieces in, we had to pile this king size amount of furniture in our dining room because I hadn't figured any of that out yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) And you were actually trying to find places to donate it to that would not resell it. Right. And that was the part that was the part that was like really mind blowing to me, you know, and I had heard that the vid had changed the scenario on how they receive furniture and all of those different types of things. And I couldn't, we, I mean, even my husband and I, we both jumped in and we were both trying to find a charity that would take it. But every charity that we called was like, well, we'll pick it up, but we're going to resell it. And I was like, no, I do not want anyone to spend any more money on this furniture that I've paid a lot of money for. That makes no sense. And I was like, how can we be more charitable? So I would say that our new bedroom set was, has been in our room for like several weeks and the old bedroom set, literally you couldn't even see the table in there because the furniture pieces were so big. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so the, the old furniture set had been sitting in my dining room this whole time. So I'm sitting in bed one night and I get a notification from the next door app for our neighborhood. And I see that somebody had posted this family that has just moved here from Ukraine and is starting completely over, Mm -hmm. has no furniture. It's a husband and a wife and two boys. And it was just like such a heartbreaking story. But this lady that lives on their street was like, I met this family. They need this, 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 this. And she starts listing all the things. And she's like, I'm just looking for anyone that's trying to get rid of furniture or cooking utensils and all the things, right, that you need to build your home with to make a comfortable life. And oh my gosh, the amount of responses on there were so overwhelming. And I just instinctively knew this is it. This is, this is how I'm going to do it. So I commented on it and I was like, hey, I have a king size bed frame and headboard. I have a dresser that matches. I have a bookshelf that matches. I have end tables that match. And she reaches out to me on DM and she's like, that's perfect because they don't have frames or dressers. They only have mattresses. And the husband and wife have a king size mattress. And I was like, what? You know, I was like, I knew it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and then I, then somebody else on there had commented that he would offer to utilize his truck and help with moving from those picking up, you know, the people that were offering up items mm-hmm, and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they arrived to our house just a few days ago to pick up the furniture and the husband of the family that has relocated here. He didn't speak very good English, but the look on his face of gratitude. At one point I was like, I also have this blanket and this blanket ladder. Do you want it? I don't need it anymore. And he just puts both his hands on his chest and he, you could tell that he looked like he was about to cry. And like the amount of gratitude he had for just helping him rebuild his family. And so you and I started, you know, I was sharing this story with you and we were talking about it. And I was just like, I can't help but think that all that frustration that I had in so many scenarios related to just these pieces of furniture, whether it was the delays, the constant delays at the store, uh, Mm -hmm. or the lack of being able to find a a charity to donate it to that wouldn't try to resell it, that the, um, the divine timing that was happening behind the scenes of what was going on in my life was literally being coordinated to lead up to this family arriving at the time they were arriving to receive what I had for them. And that makes me feel so 
incredibly happy Mm -hmm. that I was a, even in a position and we can keep going, we can keep going even further back from just the store moment, right. Or, or purchasing something nine months ago, we could go further back into, I have literally been in this growing position to be able to buy something like that in the first place or Mm -hmm. afford it, or even be able to afford to sell, to give away something and without selling it. Right. Like all of the intricate moments that have happened just to give back to somebody in need, you know, like that is cool. And this is exactly why I felt we needed to share this story because what you said that there's so much happening behind the scenes that we're not even aware of that are, that are guiding us yeah. in towards these types of moments and opportunities. And I think this story is just incredible and beautiful. And it's like that joy, that love that was experienced just in that moment of giving makes, you know, maybe I'm speaking for you here, but I feel, you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that removes all of that frustration. Yeah, it did. Absolutely. And it, it made it worth it. For sure it did. I I, I remember, you know, I mean, it was, wasn't long ago, it was a few days ago, but so like, I remember when, you know, after they left or pulled away and my husband came back in from helping them load the truck and he closes the door and I'm just standing there in the entryway with him. And we were both just like, wow. And it wasn't like a relief that these bulky items were taking up space anymore. It was a relief that we were able to help. Yeah. And we felt so grateful that we were able to help someone and help a family out. So many of us go through struggles in life and we let our egos sink in to not ask for help, you Mm -hmm. know? And so it's important that when you are in a place of giving and you are in a place that you can give yeah. that you do that because that moment in time for you even though it might be a blip could change the course of somebody else's life altogether just this beautiful gift in giving mm-hmm. yeah thank you so much Shire for sharing I I think this is again just an incredibly beautiful story of connection of learning to trust divine timing, even though it may not feel like things are going in a right direction. Uh, they are. Yeah. The I universe would... has your back. Isn't that crazy? We are all connected. And these inner workings are all happening without us even being aware. Absolutely. And what's interesting is now, you know, telling this story again, I remember at one point calling the sales rep and wanting to cancel. And before I could even spark up that little bit of attitude that I get sometimes and I don't get my way before I could even do that, (laughs) I could hear in her voice that something wasn't right. Right. I could hear that she was going through it that day. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling her, you know, Hey, I had changed my course at that point. I decided I didn't want to do that to her that day. Right. And I remember saying, hey, you know, like, because she at one point was even like, you should just cancel it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't, we don't know when it's going to come. <laughs> and, and I was like, hey, you know what? This could all be happening for a reason. I don't yet know the reason, but I'm going to just choose to trust that it's happening for a reason. And, and we'll check back in with you at the end of the month. And the sigh of relief, even from her voice that, okay, thank goodness. I don't have an angry customer to talk to you today. You know, I feel like I helped that day at least. It might be worth sharing this story with her as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully just to, <laughs> just to full circle it, you know, uh, yeah. connect the, the full circle. So, ah, uh, this is beautiful. Thank you again, Shira, so much for being open to sharing this and just being you in the first place, this person of light and love and wanting to share that in this world. So thank you. So, you know, we started doing this uh, card reading for the collective at the end of each of our episodes Mm -hmm. and what you just said are some of the cards in the deck. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Because I have not shared this with her yet. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful. (laughs) All right. Should we go into it? Mm Mm-hmm. 
Bring oh. it on. All right. Well, the first oh, part- and for yeah. those that are listening, if you want to check out the cards, they are available on our YouTube channel at Love Always Self. Yes, yes. Shop our Amazon favorites. They are linked in there. This particular deck that I'm using today is Psychic uh, Tarot Oracle Deck by John Holland. There you go. There you go. <laughs> A little book and everything. Okay. So the first card that I got was Firm Foundation, mm. which I even like that the fact that we operate from our guides and we call, we acronym them and we call them Mount Glass and it's got the mountain in the background. So, and, and this firm foundation, so this triangle, there's a gentleman that's facing towards the mountain. So we have his back view and that says to me, things behind the scenes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. See how that works? Uh. <laughs> Don't believe it in tarot. Come on now. Awesome. Okay. The next one that came in was awareness. Mm. That's the number one at the top, which is such a big synchronistic number for me. The friggin' ones, they always repeat themselves. Uh, upon building foundations allows and helps you to become more aware, right? And, and awareness is something we really work on here. <laughs> yeah. And creating some awareness that Things are going on behind the scenes mm -hmm. and therefore your greatest and highest good. And, it, and I don't know if you noticed, I didn't notice this, but in there, there's an infinity symbol, which is a symbol for our channel. Oh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> always connected. Mm -hmm. Always, always. Uh, speaking of always connected, the next one was spiritual <laughs> union. Just so cool. And I love this because it's, it, for me, this is in the shadow of giving, right? The spiritual unions that are created in this gift of love and compassion and extending a hand to those in need. Yes. And with that brings about and expands upon light. And that was the next card, which is what you oh. mentioned a minute ago is oh. light. <laughs> sharing your light. <laughs> yes. Yes. Isn't that crazy? I was like, I knew it. And with that, it, we can bring about hope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful. And we can overcome obstacles and challenges. Mm. Together, we can overcome anything. Absolutely. I love Yay. that. Thank you, Shai. <laughs> uh, and if you guys, uh, audience, have gotten any other interpretations off of those cards, we'd love to hear it. Please leave a comment because this is an intuitive thing. The cards aren't like just a black and white right. message. It's an intuitive hit that you will receive as a gut guidance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for our next episode. <laughs> 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 oh yes yes <laughs> a little intuitive hit there <laughs> ah, too funny all righty guys i hope you have a beautiful holiday and uh, yeah this is in between the holidays so yeah. we're getting ready to bring in a new year Ooh! <laughs> celebrate <laughs> Uh, and we just want to say thank you again for being with us for these past 18 months. We are just so blessed and so honored to be able to give to you and you being open to receiving from us. So thank you so much. We love you all. And don't forget to love first, love last, and love always. Bye y'all. Bye. Hey, listener, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us in this moment. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we look forward to our next connection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow to stay notified of new content from Love Always Self. If you have any questions or topics you'd like for us to discuss, please hit us up on any of our social media platforms linked in the show notes below. I'm Karista. And I'm Shira. And until next time, remember to love first, love last, and love always.
Love Always Self podcast is meant for entertainment purposes only. We do not make any warranties about the completeness, reliability, and accuracy of the information presented in this podcast. Any action you choose to take upon the information in this podcast is strictly done so at your own risk, and we will not be held liable for any losses and damages in connection with the use of our podcast. Any and all medical concerns should be addressed with a licensed healthcare provider, as well as any questions that may be derived from the information discussed in this podcast.